Next, number three is work on your timing. You have 180 minutes, which is three hours, to answer eight questions in the exam. So take the 10 minutes at the start, read through your paper, take the 10 minutes at the end and fill in any blanks. That leaves you with, on average, 17 and a half minutes per question, give or take. Now this is assuming you have to answer eight, but I want nine. There's always something in the exam that you didn't bank on and you missed it when you were skimming the paper. So I want nine question answers in your exam just to act as a buffer just in case something goes awry when you're answering your questions. So you should be aiming for three marks per minute. So be using bullet points for your answers. I'm not an English teacher. I don't care if you can write perfect sentences or not. Bullet points and keywords in your answer, that's what you're getting marks for in chemistry. So we're gonna try and make your answers shorter and that's where your exam questions are super important for imp improving your timing and making sure you have enough time in the exam to get me that extra question. Same in a test. If you have a test and it says answered three out of the five questions, do an extra one. And that actually will automatically start building up your marks because you'll find that some questions are actually answered easier or marked easier than others. And you could pick up more marks on the day. Next, organic chemistry. Now, I know a lot of you started sixth year with organic chemistry, and that's great. Organic chemistry is worth between 40 and 50% of your exam. So if you're looking for one single topic that has the biggest impact on your grade, it's always organic chemistry. And it's definitely three full 50 mark questions, but it can also be another experiment. So another question in section A. It can be a short question in question four and a 25 marker or two 25 mark questions in question 10 or 11. So it builds up very, very, very quickly. My recommendation for students is bank on answering question two, six and eight. And if you're really lucky, there might be extra questions for organic as well. So you pick up marks in organic chemistry incredibly quickly and the questions repeat over and over and over and over again. So once you do your past exam questions, you'll have seen every combination of questions that can possibly come up here. And last but not least is the calculations. Calculations make up 20% of your exam paper and they are super repeatable. If you sit down with the moles exam question booklet and do every question in there, you've basically seen every question they can possibly ask you on the exam. And all they do is tweak the numbers. So the tips for, or the ones to focus on for your exam are moles, volume of a gas at STP or RTP or PV equals NRT, pH, equilibrium, and concentration. If you can nail the five of those, you are in a fantastic position going into your exam.